Are you feeling weighed down today? Perhaps fear has gripped your heart so tightly that it feels impossible to break free. Maybe the constant hum of anxiety is growing louder with every passing day, keeping you awake at night, stealing your peace and leaving you overwhelmed. Right now, as you sit here, take a moment, breathe in deeply and exhale slowly. Let the weight of your concerns drift away with each breath. This moment, this sacred time, is for you to lay everything down at the feet of the one who has promised to carry your burdens. You are not alone in this fight. God sees you, and today we will bring every fear and every anxious thought before him in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we come before you right now, our hearts are heavy. We're exhausted, worn out, and burdened by the weight of fear and anxiety. Life with all its uncertainty, has left us feeling vulnerable, and we often find ourselves battling thoughts that we can't control. Lord, you know the depths of our struggles, even the ones we can't put into words. You see the nights we lie awake, tossing and turning, unable to quiet our minds. You see the moments when fear grips us so tightly that we feel paralyzed, unable to move forward, unsure of how to find peace. But Father, we are here because we know that you are bigger than our fears. We are here because we trust that when we bring our worries to you, you hear us. In this moment, we choose to surrender all our fears into your hands. Every anxious thought, every restless worry, every hidden doubt. Lord, we place them all at your feet. We acknowledge that we cannot overcome these struggles on our own but we believe that you are strong enough to carry what we cannot. Your word tells us in 1 Peter 5, 7 to cast all our anxieties on you because you care for us. What a beautiful reminder of your love and compassion. Lord, we choose to take that step of faith today. We take every fear, every anxious thought, and every overwhelming burden, and we place it in your care. We surrender control because we know that you are far more capable of handling the things that weigh us down. Where our strength fails, yours does not. Where our minds are troubled, your peace prevails. Father, we acknowledge that fear is a powerful force. It sneaks into our thoughts, whispering lies about our worth, our safety, and our future. It tries to convince us that we are alone in this struggle that no one understands, and that there is no way out. But your word speaks a different truth. In Isaiah 41.10, you tell us, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We hold on to this promise today. We declare that we will not allow fear to have the final say in our lives because you are with us and you have promised to be our strength. Lord, we know that anxiety is more than just worry. It's a relentless feeling that can steal our joy, cloud our thoughts and fill us with dread. Sometimes it feels like we are drowning, struggling to catch our breath, unable to escape the tight grip of worry that wraps around us. But even in those moments, Lord, you are there. You are our lifeline, our safe place, our refuge in the storm. You are the one who pulls us out of the deep waters when we feel like we are sinking. In Psalm 34 verse 4 it says, I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Today, we seek you with everything we have, trusting that you will deliver us from the fear that binds us. Father, there are days when it feels like anxiety has built walls around our hearts, keeping us from fully living the life you've called us to. It isolates us and makes us feel like we are the only ones going through this battle. But you remind us in your word that we are never alone. You are Emmanuel, God with us. No matter how isolated we may feel, your presence is constant. You are closer than the air we breathe. You are not distant but intimately involved in every detail of our lives. We are not forgotten and our struggles are not unseen. We thank you for that, Lord. Today, we surrender the need to have everything figured out. 
We let go of the pressure to solve every problem, to control every outcome, to protect ourselves from every fear. Instead, we lean into your wisdom, guidance, and protection. You have gone before us. You know the future, and you are working together for our good. As it says in Romans 8, 28, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Even when life feels chaotic and uncertain, we trust that you are in control and your plans for us are good. Lord, we also recognize that fear and anxiety can sometimes be rooted in lies we've believed about ourselves. Lies that tell us we are not enough, that we are unworthy of love, that we are destined to fail. But your word speaks truth over us. In 2 Timothy 1.7, you remind us that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. We declare today that we will no longer allow fear to dictate our thoughts. We choose to embrace the truth that you have given us power, love, and a sound mind. We are not defined by our fears, but by your love. As we surrender our fears to you, we ask for the courage to trust you completely. Trust is hard, Lord. It requires us to let go of control, to step into the unknown, and believe that you will catch us when we fall. But we know that you are faithful. You have never failed us, and you never will. So today, we choose to trust you with our hearts, our minds, our futures, and our fears. In this moment of surrender, we release every anxious thought into your care. We release the fear of the unknown, the fear of failure, the fear of rejection, and the fear of not being enough. We place it all in your hands, knowing that you can carry what we cannot. We trust that in your perfect timing, you will work all things for our good and your glory. Heavenly Father, we come to you now, asking for the gift that only you can give, the peace that surpasses all understanding. In this chaotic world, peace often feels distant. Anxiety rises within us, threatening to steal the calm we long for. But Lord, we know that true peace is found only in your presence. So right now, we invite you to fill our hearts and minds with your peace. A peace that is not dependent on our circumstances, but rooted in the unshakable foundation of your love and faithfulness. In Philippians 4, 6-7, your word tells us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, we stand on this promise today. We choose to bring every worry, every fear, every anxious thought to you in prayer, trusting that as we do, your peace will guard our hearts. Father, we ask that you replace every anxious thought with the assurance of your presence. When we feel overwhelmed, remind us that you are near. You are not a distant God, but a loving Father who cares deeply for his children. Even during our most overwhelming moments, you are with us, offering us the comfort and peace we so desperately need. Lord, we admit that sometimes it feels like peace is beyond our reach. The weight of anxiety is heavy, and our minds race with thoughts that seem impossible to quiet. But you, Lord, are the Prince of Peace. You are the one who calms the storms, both in the natural world and in our hearts. Just as you spoke to the wind and the waves in Mark 4.39, saying, Peace, be still. We ask you to speak those same words over our lives today. Quiet the storm of anxiety that rages within us and bring us into the stillness of your presence. Father, we know that peace is not simply the absence of trouble, but the deep assurance that you are in control. It's the confidence that even in uncertainty, you are working all things together for our good. In John 14:27, you said, Peace I leave with you, 
My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. We receive that peace today, Lord. A peace that is not temporary. A peace that does not depend on our circumstances. But a peace that comes from knowing you are in control. God, we ask for your peace to guard our minds. Anxiety often takes root in our thoughts, causing us to worry about things that are out of our control. But your word reminds us in 2 Corinthians 10.5 to take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Lord, help us to recognize when anxiety is creeping into our minds and give us the strength to replace those anxious thoughts with the truth of your word. Remind us that you are bigger than any fear, stronger than any worry, and more powerful than any storm we face. Father, we also ask for your peace to guard our hearts. Anxiety can cause our hearts to become heavy with worry, making it difficult to trust in your goodness. But we know that you are a God of love and compassion, and you care deeply for our hearts. In Proverbs 4.23, you tell us, Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Lord, help us to guard our hearts from the lies of the enemy that try to convince us that we are alone in our struggles. Help us to protect our hearts with the truth of your love and faithfulness, knowing that you are always with us, even in our darkest moments. Lord, we ask that you fill us with your Holy Spirit, the Comforter, who brings peace into our lives. We invite your spirit to fill every corner of our minds and hearts, replacing anxiety with a deep sense of calm. Holy Spirit, we welcome you into every part of our lives. We ask that you guide us, comfort us, and remind us daily of God's presence with us. Help us to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, and to trust in his perfect plan for our lives. Father, as we invite your peace into our lives, we recognize that it is not always easy to let go of anxiety. We often hold on to our worries, trying to solve our problems in our strength. But today, Lord, we choose to release those worries into your hands. We choose to let go of the things we cannot control and trust that you are in control. We know that you are working behind the scenes even when we cannot see it and we trust that your plan for us is good. Lord, we also lift those who are struggling with anxiety in ways that feel overwhelming. For those who are battling panic attacks, for those who wake up each day with a sense of dread, for those whose minds are constantly racing with worry. Lord, we ask that you meet them right where they are. Bring them into the stillness of your presence and surround them with your peace. Let them feel the weight of anxiety lifting off their shoulders as they rest in the knowledge that you are with them and you are in control. In this moment, we choose to rest in you, Lord. We choose to release every worry, every fear, and every anxious thought into your care. We choose to trust in your love and your faithfulness, knowing that you are working all things together for our good. We ask that you help us to walk in peace, not just in this moment of prayer, but every day. Help us to carry your peace with us wherever we go and to be a light to those around us who are also struggling with fear and anxiety. Lord, we thank you for the gift of peace. We thank you that even during life's storms, we can have peace because you are with us. We thank you for your love, your presence, and your faithfulness and we ask that you continue to guard our hearts and minds with your peace, now and always. Heavenly Father, as we continue in prayer, we acknowledge that the battle against fear and anxiety can feel relentless. There are times when we are so overwhelmed that it feels like we have no strength left to fight. Yet, your word tells us in Isaiah 40, 29, He gives strength to the weary, and increases the power of the weak. Lord, we come to you in our weakness, knowing that you are our strength. We ask you to fill us with the power we need to stand firm in the face of fear and anxiety. 
Lord, we know that fear can be paralyzing. It grips us, holds us back, and makes us feel like we are not capable of moving forward. Anxiety clouds our vision and keeps us from seeing the hope and future you have promised us. But you, O oh God, are greater than any fear we face. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1.7 So, at this moment, we declare that fear will not have dominion over our lives. We declare that we are not controlled by anxiety, but we are led by your Spirit, the Spirit of truth and peace. Father, we ask for the strength to rise above our fears. When we feel overwhelmed, remind us that we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. Romans 8.37 You have called us to walk in victory, not defeat. Even when fear and anxiety try to knock us down, you are the one who lifts us up. You are the one who strengthens us and gives us the courage to press on, even when the way forward seems difficult. Lord, we ask that you help us to stand firm in your promises. In Isaiah 41.10, you tell us, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We hold on to this promise today, knowing that you are with us. We are not alone in this battle. You are our helper, our defender, our protector. No matter how fierce the storm may be, you are the one who holds us securely in your righteous right hand. We do not have to fear because you are with us. Father, we ask that you strengthen our minds. Anxiety often attacks our thoughts, filling us with doubt and fear. But your word reminds us in Philippians 4, 8 to think on whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. Help us to fix our minds on the truth of who you are and who we are in you. When anxious thoughts try to take over, give us the strength to replace those thoughts with the truth of your word. Help us to meditate on your promises and to trust that you are working in ways we cannot see. Lord, we also ask that you strengthen our hearts. Anxiety can cause our hearts to grow weary, to lose hope, and to feel overwhelmed by the weight of our burdens. But your word tells us in Psalm 73, verse 26, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Even when we feel weak, even when our hearts are heavy with worry, we know that you are our strength. You are the one who holds our hearts and gives us the endurance to keep going, even when we feel like giving up. Father, we know that fear and anxiety are often rooted in lies we believe about ourselves and our circumstances, but your word is truth, and your truth sets us free. In John 8.32 you said, Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. We ask that you reveal the lies we have believed and replace them with your truth. When we feel afraid, remind us that you are our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Psalm 46.1 When anxiety tells us that we are alone, remind us that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Hebrews 13.5 Lord, we also lift up those who feel like they are at their breaking point. For those who are struggling to get through each day, for those who feel like their strength is running out, we ask that you renew their strength. Surround them with your love and remind them that your grace is sufficient for them, for your power is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12.9 Help them to lean on you, knowing that they do not have to carry their burdens alone. You are with them, and you are their strength when they feel weak. Father, we also ask for the strength to trust you in uncertainty. Anxiety often thrives in the unknown, filling our hearts with fear about the future. But we know that you are already there, Lord. You go before us, and you have a plan for our lives that is good. As it says in Jeremiah 29:11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, 
plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. We choose to trust in your plans, Lord, even when we don't understand what's happening around us. We choose to believe that you are working all things together for our good. Romans 8, 28. Lord, we also ask for the strength to persevere in faith. Sometimes, anxiety causes us to doubt your goodness. It makes us question whether you are truly with us, whether you are really working on our behalf. But today, we choose to stand firm in our faith, knowing that you are faithful. You have never failed us, and you never will. We declare that we will trust in you, even when we don't have all the answers. We will trust in your timing, your provision, and your plan for our lives. Father, we ask that you surround us with your strength and courage. When fear tries to creep back into our hearts, remind us of the strength that is found in you. When anxiety tries to steal our peace, remind us that you are our protector, our defender, and our refuge. Help us to walk in faith, not in fear, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. In this moment, we choose to declare your truth over our lives. We declare that we are strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6.10 We declare that we are not defined by our fears, but by your love. We declare that we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. Romans 8.37 We declare that no weapon formed against us will prosper. Isaiah 54, 17, and we will stand firm in the victory that is ours in Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, as we bring this time of prayer to a close, we affirm our trust in you. We know that you are sovereign, that you are in control, and that nothing in our lives escapes your notice. Even amid fear and anxiety, we choose to trust in your goodness and your perfect plan for our lives. We know that you are working behind the scenes in ways that we cannot see, and we trust that your plan for us is one of hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. Lord, we acknowledge that trust is not always easy. Fear tells us that we need to control everything, that we need to have all the answers, that we need to figure out every detail of our lives. But you call us to a different kind of trust. You call us to surrender to release control and to place our lives in your hands. In Proverbs 3, 5, 6, you tell us, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Lord, today we choose to lean not on our understanding, but to submit our lives, our fears and our anxieties to you. Father, we recognize that trust is not a one-time decision, but a daily choice. Each day we are faced with situations that test our faith, with challenges that make us question whether you are truly in control. But today, we declare that we will trust you, even when the road ahead seems uncertain. We will trust you with our future, knowing that you hold it in your hands. We will trust you with our fears, knowing that you are greater than anything we face. And we will trust you with our hearts, knowing that you love us more than we can ever imagine. Lord, as we affirm our trust in you, we ask for your guidance. We don't always know the right steps to take, and sometimes fear clouds our judgment. But we ask that you lead us with your wisdom and discernment. In Psalm 32, verse 8, you promise, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Lord, we rely on your counsel. Direct our steps and show us the path that you have laid out for us. Help us to walk in faith, trusting that you are guiding us every step of the way. Father, we also ask for the strength to continue trusting you, even when life feels overwhelming. There will be moments when fear tries to creep back into our hearts, when anxiety tries to steal our peace. But in those moments, help us to remember who you are. You are the God who never changes, 
the God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever, Hebrews 13, 8. You are the God who has never failed us, and you never will. Help us to anchor our trust in your unchanging character, knowing that you are faithful and true. Lord, as we place our trust in you, we also ask for your peace to fill our hearts. In John 14, 27, you said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Lord, we receive that peace today, a peace that is not temporary, a peace that does not depend on our circumstances, but a peace that is rooted in the knowledge that you are with us, that you are in control, and that you are working all things together for our good. Father, as we leave this time of prayer, we carry your peace with us. We choose to rest in the assurance that you are guiding us, protecting us and providing for us. We choose to release every remaining fear and every anxious thought into your hands, trusting that you are more than able to carry them. We choose to walk in faith, not in fear, knowing that you are our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble, Psalm 46.1. Lord, we also pray for those who may be struggling with trusting you right now. For those who are feeling overwhelmed by anxiety. For those who are afraid of what the future holds. For those who are unsure of how to move forward. We ask that you meet them right where they are. Remind them of your love, your faithfulness and your presence. Help them to trust in you, even when it's hard. Give them the courage to take that step of faith, knowing that you are with them every step of the way. Father, we thank you for the gift of your presence. We thank you for the peace that you have given us, for the strength that you have provided, and for the hope that we have in you. We thank you for being our refuge, our protector, and our provider. We thank you for never leaving us, even in our moments of doubt and fear. We thank you for loving us unconditionally, for holding us in the palm of your hand, and for carrying us through every trial we face. As we conclude this prayer, we declare our faith in you, Lord. We declare that you are our strength, our shield, and our fortress. We declare that we are not defined by our fears, but by your love. We declare that we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us, Romans 8.37. We declare that no weapon formed against us will prosper, Isaiah 54, 17. And we declare that your peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4, 7. Father, as we go forward from this moment, we ask that you continue to guide us, protect us, and fill us with your peace. We choose to walk in trust, not in fear. We choose to rest in your promises, knowing that you are faithful to complete the good work you have started in us. Philippians 1.6 We choose to surrender our anxieties and fears to you, trusting that you are working all things together for our good and your glory. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we pray. Amen. As we conclude this time of prayer, let us remember that trust is a journey. Each day we are called to surrender our fears and anxieties to the one who holds us in his hands. As we place our trust in God, we find peace, strength, and hope. Let us continue to walk in faith, knowing that he is with us, guiding us, protecting us, and carrying us through every storm we face. May his peace fill our hearts and his presence guide our steps now and always. Amen.